Hello, everybody. Bush Bavarian, America's most refreshing beer, presents Joe Garagiola and Wrestling at the Chase. It has been off the air since 1983. And now, the main event. Yet for many St. Louisans, those Once four words. Wrestling at the Chase. Yes. Still ring a bell. King Kong Brody. Jane Kanisky. The Hawk. Gorgeous George. Bobo Brazil. Dick the Bruce. It was part opera and part soap opera, full of arm twists and plot twists. Whenever that TV was on, wrestling, we was watching it. Grandpa was beating the sofa, and Grandma was beating the other sofa. Kevin has the claw! I would call it a violent ballet. For almost a quarter century, thousands of St. Louisans had a weekly appointment with their television sets to watch a madcap morality play based on a sport with no season, no scoring, and arguably no sport, since the winners were picked before the matches began. It was really the fans who were having their legs pulled. Oh boy. But even fans who understood how it worked were willing to wink back because they found themselves hooked by the storyline and drawn to the characters. You get up and you run up to the front, and you know, you boo, 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 and like, come on out here, come on out here. There was a Native American wrestler, and he went by the name of Chief Wahoo McDaniel. And at one match, he was wearing a breech cloth, and someone, might have been Ollie Hoster, someone in my headphones said, oh my God, he's fallen out of his breech cloth. Panic initially was my reaction, I think. I started telling the camera people to go with just tighter shots, head waist up shots. We reviewed the tape and we fortunately did not catch any of that wardrobe malfunction on tape, but there was, uh, the audience sir got an eyeful, that's for sure. <laughs> King Kong Brody! But when you consider everything that happened in the 1960s and 70s, maybe it's just the entertainment that was simpler. Fans are lining up tonight at downtown St. Louis for the WWE's Royal Rumble at the Edward Jones Dome. At its highest level, professional wrestling today is a lot of things, but simple is not one of them. It has become an industry of the mega. Mega stars, mega shows, mega money. Up over the top goes Rocky Johnson and Matero But every once in a while, it's worth remembering that it was an evolution, not a revolution, that turned professional wrestling into a multi-billion dollar industry. If you look at the tapes now, you would still see that energy. I mean, I still look at stuff like that today and I still get that energy, I get those goosebumps because that was what I grew up on. And that's it, hope you enjoyed it. Good night, everybody.